Easy peeps, welcome to episode 27. I've started from the bottom, the road to glory. Still waiting for the theme tune, boys. Right, this is weekend two, part one of weekend two of the part one of weekend two. This is a team we are going to be rocking at the beginning. We brought Varan back in again, which you would have seen in the last episode. We got rid of Ali, which you would have seen in the last episode. We've got our Rage Mania t shirt on available. Follow the links at www.quickstophicks.com. Plug ad, hashtag ad, ad, hashtag ad. Rage Mania! So, the first team up. Not a bad team. I'm sure it's the same as everybody out there. Nearly every team you come up against is a Premier League team at this stage of the game. So we go into the weekend league, we're positive. We're really, really positive. Made a few changes to the team. We're, we're, we're ready to go for the first game of the weekend league. Jesus. What a player. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, throughout this weekend league, uh, this is being played on the Friday. I did something that I won't ever be doing again. Is doing all of these buys and sells. So I played the first game I lost. I brought in Martial. Right? Overpaid for Martial with 68,000 coins. Head is all over the place. Martial goes straight into the team to replace Son. Because I wasn't happy with what Son. Then we face an honestly average Premier League team team isn't that great we've got what 60,000 in Jesus 68,000 140,000 we've got 170,000 coin strike force in the top three players we go one nil up from Sanchez you know we're not rocking a poor team really you know defense could do with some work but we've got a 60,000 coin player or however how much for rank cost you know we go 2 0 up with the scabbiest of goals. We are cruising. Tries a nice little bit of skill. Jesus latches on. He does a fantastic tackle from Reed. Absolutely superb tackle. My defenders are all over the shop. He bags a great goal from Lanzini or from that tackle. I think I'm over defending too much. The AI seems to be back doing defensive work again. And I think I'm still trying to control players and stuff like that. I pass it to him. Goes to 2-2 in the 69th minute. You know, passing's all over the place. Like I said, I think I'm over defending. I think I'm dragging my players forward too much. I'm not letting the AI do as much. And we end up going 3-2 down in the 71st minute. So we lose our first game. We lose our second game. Third game, we face this monstrosity of a team with Rui Costa, Dembele, et al. We lose that game 3-0. So we've played 3-1-0 so far on the second weekend part one of the second weekend of the weekend league. We've got 218,000 coins selling off a few players and stuff the marquee matchups are helping us because bronze players are absolutely flying out the door we get rid of Klein, we get rid of cahill we get rid of adnan we're making some money on all of those we get rid of martial again because for that one game he's not worth seventy thousand coins and we get rid of varan we sell varan again don't lose any money on varan really we sell varan again <laughs> And then, look, I've sold him, but I end up buying him back at the same time. I know. So we sold him for 57, buy him back for 54, and then we bring Kante in for 216,000 coins. Now, my thinking here was this. I'm going to get Kante, and then I'm going to try and sell him halfway through the weekend league to see if he's actually worth the coins. We play another game, we win that game 5-1. So I know that I'm actually going to be selling Conte. If I end up losing 10,000 coins on Conte, I'm okay with that. If I play 20 games with Conte, lose 10,000 coins on him, that's just like the same as doing the Rui Costa loan 
for 20 games that would cost you 10 15,000 coins. So I decided to do that with Conte. I know we're going to sell him. He, is, he isn't a permanent fixture in the club. I'm just trying to get some wins on the board to try and pull back around the first three losses. So I'm happy to lose 10 odd thousand coins on him. I'm going to be selling him in around about 20 odd games because I do not want to have that many coins invested into one player, especially a gold player that I believe will eventually come down as people start packing him and stuff. Now, this is the Friday and obviously the SBCs come out and stuff like that during this episode. Um, so that means that that affects now the 86 and 87 rated players. So does that mean that Conte is going to go up? I, I, I don't know. But basically what we do this whole entire weekend is we absolutely rinse the club of all of our players. We get rid of all of the informs that we've purchased. We get rid of as many of the higher rated players that we've got in the club that we can. So we bought Cahill for what, three, three odd thousand. We end up selling him. We sold Glick in the last one. We sell, we sell, we sell, we sell. Just to try and get that coin balance up because we need to try and take the team up to a little bit of a better level now. Um, so we want to try and get coins to try and make monies. As I said, during this episode, the SBCs come out where bronze packs and Australian players and all the others are worth 10,000, 8,000 coins. So we open a shed load of bronze packs this weekend. An absolute shed load. So you will see interspersed in all these games, you will see my transfer list that I keep showing you. That's because I've only got 70 transfers because my catalog isn't updating. So I need to show you as much as I can, as quick as I can, because they were flying out. So I need to, to relist, do whatever I need to do. Um, I, is the team playing great? No. Is it my fault? Probably yes. Is it the game's fault? A little bit, you know, you can't, at some stage, you just have to say, this is the game. We all moaned about servers during FIFA 17. You know, oh, it's heavy. I'm stuck in mud. The gameplay is delayed. But that was the entirety of FIFA 17. FIFA 18, it's exactly the same. So at some stage, you have to go, okay, this is the gameplay. I know. So there's the Russian League players going out for the SPC. You've got Liga NOS players going out for the SPC. Literally any SPC that requires these players, the silvers and the bronzes will absolutely fly out. So we sell as many uh, Russian as we can. We sell as many Liga NOS as we can. Uh, we've got Australian players to sell. We're playing the weekend league online against Premier League team, Premier League team every game. Ultimate team, the game mode where you two can have the same team as everyone else. And then we're playing squad battles as well. So we're playing squad battles with our league and us team to try and get fitness for the Premier League team for when we can play uh, online. We're trying to sell as much as we can as well. We're buying players, selling players, buying players, selling players, buying players, selling players. We're trying to make as much coins as we can. We're opening up bronze packs. We're doing, honestly, too much. It's affecting how I'm playing because I'm trying to put, to do 29 million other things and the littlest of things are going wrong. We started off the weekend league badly. I'm pacing round. I'm scoring okay goals. I mean, but Son was scoring goals for me before. Then all of a sudden I decided to buy Martial because everybody I face seems to have Martial. But Son was doing what he needs to do anyway. So why have I tried to replace him? I don't know. But we score some scabby goals. Our opponents score some scabby goals. We do quite well. We end up losing a heartbreaker in the last game at like the 92nd minute. We score sweat goals. We score tappings. We have a great game and we win that one. Seven, three was it? But in our first 10 games, we have only won four games. That is the, we're literally, in FIFA 17 and FIFA 18, that is legitimately the worst start to any weekend league I have ever had. The literal worst start. Last week we was what, seven, seven out of 10 on the first 10 games. 
I was, that that's average you know if you can go 10 out of 10 that's the dream i'm happy with seven plus anything below seven and i'm absolutely devastated so to get four out of the first 10 games man it makes me want to buy a rage mania t-shirt from the quick ups quick star picks online store hashtag ad Buzz spence so we sell some more uh russian league and whatever players we try and sell some of the investments that we had because we thought Kane might need Norwich or Millwall players so we try and get rid of those we're selling we're selling we're selling we're selling we're selling bronzes we're selling golds we're selling the silvers we have and guess what we're selling Varane again he's out of here <laughs> that is it I'm not buying Varane again overall I think we've bought and sold Varane about 16 times the only reason I've re-bought him about this time is because I needed a French defender to get chemistry for Conte But is it worth having a 60,000, 55,000 coin defender if you're still losing games? Is it really? I've played 11 games and I've only won four. So I'm happy to let Koscielny only be on eight chem in defense or whatever the whatever the chemistry effect is and, and, and put the, the core of my Real Madrid three back in. Because honestly, Nacho was doing as well if not better for me than what Varane was. So Nacho was pat pulled. He's only worth about 3,000 coins anyway. Or 60, 57,000 coins into Varane and we're still leaking goals. So Varane is gone. Varane will not return unless he's about 15,000 coins. I'm sure it would be good to have him. And last year on FIFA 17, his team of the group stage card was absolutely superb for me. But this year, I, I don't think... It's necessarily about the players in defence if you personally can't defend. You can blame the defenders if you want, but at the end of the day, you're the one making the mistakes. So I can defend just as well with the 750 coin Semedo on my Liga Nos team than what I can with my 60,000 coin Varane because I'm the one that's physically making the mistakes. Yes, the pace is a factor. But again, like Semedo has the same pace or whoever has the same pace. So it's nice for that scare tactic. But honestly, in FIFA 17, you would have a good team and you will win that, that battle at the beginning because your team seems to be slightly good. This year, everybody, even the weak teams, like the, the poo-ish teams, they're stunning, right? I mean, this is the average team you're facing. You've got one to watch Walker. You've got one to watch Lacazette. You've got player of the month Mane, Willian, Conte. You know, these teams are absolutely superb. And I genuinely feel that on some of them, I'm holding my own against teams and players that are better than me. I just feel this weekend I've been very, very unlucky. And I personally have made some absolutely stupid mistakes. That's stupid. It, it just makes me want to go out and buy a Rage Mania t-shirt available via www.quickstophicks.com. Go check it out. And then you face teams like this, right? Let me just get the chain out, everyone. It looks good. You've got to accessorise. If you buy something good, you have to accessorise people. That's Shopping 101. Jeez. So... We then go into the next game again, another Premier League team. So the Premier League teams that you would look at and go trash have still got Son, have still got, you know, Keane, have still got decent players. And I've lost to teams that have had Lanzini and stuff. Lanzini's ripped me apart, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. But we go into some games and we're like 3 4 0, rage quits. And then the next game we're like, right, okay, we're going to do this. And we end up getting battered like 3 1. And I wouldn't say the players are at fault for that. That is all on me. You know? Yes, I'm getting bored of seeing Bakayoko in every team. Yes, I'm getting bored of playing a Premier League team nearly every game. Yes, it's making me want to sell my Premier League team and get another team just so I can see different players on the screen. Yes, yes to all of that. Yes, it makes me want to go out and buy a Rage Mania t-shirt. Yes, yes, yes. It makes me want to keep losing goals and keep losing games in extra time. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. The market, we keep selling, we keep selling, we keep selling. Coins on coins on coins on coins on coins on coins. 
Coins on coins on coins. We are now up to what? 172,000. So not happy with the losses whatsoever. It obviously gets worse. We claim the weekly objectives, 1,400 coins here, 1,400 coins here. I've lost a lot more games than what I thought I would at this stage. I've got to be honest. But then again, I've played a lot more games than I thought I would. What, nearly 300 games and it's what, two and a half weeks, three weeks into FIFA? That's a lot of FIFA. Four people selling, more coins on coins, more coins on coins on coins. Then we try and snag up some more investments. So we try and sell, we try and sell, we try and sell. We open up shed loads of bronze packs. We're going into games. Yes, not Premier League. Boom. Well done, NUFC Strange Ways. Congrats for you not having a Premier League team. Sir, we salute you. We salute you. <sighs> really do need to try and figure out the defending. I mean, if you look at here, absolutely fair play to this kid. He just absolutely passed me up and down the field. Right? Luckily, I managed to grab the tackle, play it all the way up the field, straight to Willian, and the game of basketball is... Blah, blah, blah. You attack, run. You attack, run. You attack, run. You attack, run. FIFA 18, you attack, run. You attack, run. Uh, uh, steam, steam, steam. Broken thumbs, steam. Uh, that's basically what FIFA 18 is. It's no methodical build-up like the trailer suggests, and then I'm going to hit a swirler, and I'm going to... I'm going to pass it here and I'm going to do a swirling cross into the box and my player's going to chest it and then he's going to do an overhead kick and we're going to do 27 million passes in a row and it's going to be glorious. FIFA 18 is kick run, blah, blah, blah. kick run, blah, 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 blah. kick run, blah, blah, blah. we win a game. Yay! Come on! Woo, woo, woo. Right, I'll tell you what, let's face another Premier League team. Might as well, we haven't done it for a while. And this game makes me want to buy a Rage Mania t-shirt. One one in the next game. Nice bit of passing. Nice little ball through to Willian. We go two one up. So many losses in the first part of weekend two part one. Weekend two part one. But well, we're up to eleven wins. Not the best. Not the greatest. Could do better. Eleven wins out of our first twenty. Would like a little bit more. But hey, after the first thing, you know, good to get rid of. We get rid of the Conte like we said we was going to do for the first 20 games. We ended up losing about 8,000 coins on Conte. So for 8,000 coins, we've had a Conte for loan for, for, what, 19, 18 games. I'll take that. We're up to 11 wins out of 20 games. Next episode will be the rest of those weekend league games. And then after that, we will do a club tour to bring us right back up. Don't forget to go check out www.quickstophits.com. But that should can't speak properly. Goodbye. That's it for today. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Share it with your friends. Thank you very much. In a bit.